This is the annotated source for a lightning talk that I gave at WordPress Portsmouth Meetup in May 2019. It followed my talk, a brief introduction to WordPress blocks. I'll basically read all the stuff out aloud and move a mouse about whilst I'm doing it. And the reason I'm doing that will become obvious as I proceed down the page. WordPress comes with over 35 core blocks and there are about the same number of core embed blocks. Here's an example block, it's a fields block and it's displaying the featured image. So many plugins deliver these blocks, but what blocks are available? More plugins are available and how do you choose the blocks to use? This may help. Hello, my name's Herb Miller. I am a WordPress fan. I'd like to tell you how I write, in the only way I can. Things, they are much simpler now, are just to cast a spell. And the Gutenberg block editor creates HTML. I used to write HTML, but now my content rocks. Ever since WordPress Bebo 5, I've been constructing blocks. If I'm writing blogs, I reckon more than half, the blocks that I will use will be the paragraph. I can style them left or right, with bold and italics and even introduce hypertext links right into the mix. A drop cap at the start, colour from behind and varying size fonts that my readers may not mind. But if I'm writing lots to break up what you're reading, I won't forget to use an informative heading. A simple way to create content that I don't want to be missed is to write my sentences in an unordered list. Pictures are a thousand words, JPEGs are all the rage, so in between the wordy bits I use a nice image. So you like words and images, I wonder what comes next. You won't be at all surprised then by media and text. Not everybody reads that quick, and even the boy racer will welcome a vertical gap. So why not use a spacer? Some things you need to see right now. And some you might need to read later. Time to make use of the block that's called the separator. I may want to point my readers to something I have read. A good way to achieve this is to use an embed. So I've got a table. It appears to me that I'd present it straight from the CSV. Bit ugly, sorry. And now I've got this content, but it looks a mess. I'd love to be able to style it with some inline CSS. A little bit of source code is much easier to see when it's syntax highlighted with a tool that's called Geshe. So I need to get directions. I don't get in the flap. I give them my address and the fancy Google map. Well, that's where's the fancy Google map. All that one. A fancy Google map. If you want to contact me, pretty much the norm, there are over 20 plugins that will help you build the form. I don't punish and punish my visitors by brandishing the birch. I let them offer thing I let them find things easily by offering a search. I'm not gonna do it. The countdown time is all I need to let you know just when something is going to happen or how long it's been since then. When you want when I want to make you act better there is nothing than a super duper you can't bend it call to action button. If you want to download stuff, it should only take a while to realise the block to use is simply labelled file. Download the PDF of this here. Many blocks are similar. We To choose, we all take sides, but some are really unique. For example, UK Tides. High Tide today is at half past four at Northney. You all may have noticed I could have done no worse than to write this little poem in the block entitled Verse. 
Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Creativity is paramount. That's obvious to me. I couldn't wait to write there for magnetic poetry. I could say that my favourite block is taken from this set. The truth is that it's out there, I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> 